Linda Robson's marriage of over 30 years is said to be on the rocks after she reportedly told pals her and hubby Mark Dunford are suffering a rough patch. The pair, who live together in London are said to be struggling with their relationship, with Linda confiding in those closest to her. However, it's far from the loose women panelists' first off-screen drama she's had to deal with over her adult career. While she's been delighting viewers on the small screen for over three decades on shows such as Birds of a Feather and Downton Abbey, she's had a number of personal battles off-screen. OCD battle in 2020, the now 64-year-old broke down on her return to Loose Women after a year-long hiatus. She confessed she had been hospitalized due to her severe OCD, in which she would often find herself taking four baths a day. She admitted she became erratic and was obsessed with social media after struggling with a bad reaction to her medication. Speaking to Stacey Solomon, Kay Adams, Jane Moore and Nadia Sawala on the edition of the popular daytime talk show, Linda said, I came off the wine. And then I upped the tablets, and, had a really bad reaction. I had bad anxiety my OCD kicked into action. She reiterated OCD is not a joke, and confessed it began to take over her life. The rubbish would have two tea bags in it and I would have to take it out, she continued. Stacy admitted on the show that Linda's battles were the first time she'd personally seen a severe case of OCD, before a tearful Linda apologized for what she had put her family through. Alcohol struggles at the same time, she confessed her year-long booze held to her panelist pals prior to her detox, revealing police had been called to her home after family locked her in the property because of her drinking habits. She said the move was simply a bid to keep her safe. She has now been sober for three years following three stints in rehabilitation. The actress further opened up on her battle two years later, telling Loose Women about the impact it had on her family. Confiding with her mates on the show, she said, it felt horrible and it still does now. When I think back to those two years and what I actually did to my kids and my grandchildren as well, they saw me drinking and completely blacking out. It was absolutely terrible. When I look back now, I think that wasn't me. For those two years it was like someone had taken over my body and I had no control over it. And earlier this year, she admitted that at the time she would ask strangers to help her get vodka from the corner shop. One time, However, it turned out she asked a man from an alcohol crisis place who contacted her family to come and help her. Previous rocky relationships while she is currently said to be dealing with relationship struggles, in 2016 she opened up on her heartbreak following her first love cheating on her. Speaking of her regret at how long she let her serial cheat ex be unfaithful, Sharing her heartbreak over her the relationship, Linda said, I caught him lots and lots of times, probably my biggest regret is that I didn't finish it earlier. The strange thing was there was a family due not too long ago, and he actually blamed me for the breakup. She revealed how he went on to blame her for always being away for work for his infidelity. However, she furiously said at the time that the excuse was a lie anyway, saying she was always there. Sadly, she claimed it wasn't the only time she was cheated on in a relationship. Last week she said, it's happened to me twice. Two partners have cheated on me, and both times I've known something was wrong in the relationship and I've confronted them and they've always denied it. 
until eventually one of their friends or one of your friends says, do you know that this has been happening behind your back? Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Melting